What's up everybody, it is Royal J and I am back again with another video and this time I am reacting to BTS Black Swan art film performed by MN Dance Company. So I'm super excited and ready to get into it because BTS is feeding us now, like they're giving us content, like they are releasing and I'm super excited and I'm happy. They was doing performances and stuff but like singles and music videos like we wasn't really getting it so I'm ready to get into it. Um, shout out to the guys for like they sold like three point something million pre-orders and like pre-sales. So that's that's just crazy. That's just amazing. That's on another level. Like I've never heard of that before. That's so great. So if you have pre-ordered the album, let me know you guys. I'm gonna do it as soon as I get off from doing this video. Let me know if you guys pre-ordered the album and <laughs> I get so excited when I see that intro. Oh, wait, what's this? See, now I tried to be cute and not put the glasses on, but I gotta put them on anyway because now I gotta read. Oh, man. Okay. A dancer dies twice. Once when they stop dancing, and this first death is the more painful. Martha Graham. Hmm. Alrighty. All right. Okay. How many people want to do? Oh. Seven. Ah, oh, yeah, I might just crack some, like, you know what I'm saying? Nah, but I just peep, like, it's seven guys in a group, and then they have seven people here, and then we have uh, Map of Souls 7, so the number seven is pretty big. I might have to play that in a lot of them. <laughs> I'm just saying. Oh. I love that violin in the background. Like, who's playing that violin? Cause that sounds too good. This version, uh, this sound really different. So this morning when I was at work um, and the song was released, because I was on YouTube, I was watching YouTube and I haven't really been on social media that much. I just got back on it today, but I'm gonna be right back off again. But I saw everybody was talking about uh, doing videos to like BTS and stuff. And I was like, what's going on? Like they released something else? I went on Apple Music. I don't watch other people's reaction videos. And I'm just saying. So when I went on Apple Music and I saw that they released the song called Black Swan. I listened to it and I was just like, okay, I like this song. I love the beat. It gives you a trap feel. It gives you a more up-tempo. But this version is more softer as far as what I'm hearing so far. So it's really different from like the Apple, like the streaming. And then the video is like two different versions, which is cool because it kind of makes it fit in with what's going on here. Now, I, I like, the, I like the, the streaming one better. I, I like that beat. Now, I I never knew I don't know like the meaning 
because I know with these dances, like these types of dance moves and stuff like that, they have like meanings, like different meanings. And it, it tells a story. If you don't understand it, you would be watching it and you would be really confused. Now, I am really confused and I'm just letting like, y'all know that. But I loved, I love what's going on. I love, like, I love seeing it, but I just don't know how to read it and understand the story, like what's being told. So I don't know if they're going off the strength of the song or are they, like, telling a different story. Like, I don't know. Y'all can comment below. I know y'all will. Comment below and let me know about um, the story that they're telling in these in this choreography. Like, because I don't know how to read it. Like, you know, I'm just sitting here. It's, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's entertaining, though. Is he the swan? Because he's doing a lot of like this. So is he supposed to be the swan? This is kind of giving me Childish Gambino. Childish Gambino. This is America type vibe. I like it though. Oh. Oh my God. <laughs> This is really, really beautiful. Oh, wow. So he is a swan. Okay, so that was Black Swan um, performed by M and Dance Company. So far, I really do like. I love the video. I feel like it's really beautiful, and it's the sound of the song and the vibe of the song kind of gives you that feeling and puts you in that moment. You know, I think I well I, I how can I say this. I don't really know the story that is being told through the dance, but what I can say is that I do feel like I think that guy was supposed to be the black swan, uh, obviously. But y'all could comment below and let me know, like, what is it that I'm missing? Like, tell me what story they were telling through the dance. So I love the song, but I do like the version on the streaming platforms better because I really love the beat. You know what I'm saying? Like the beat, just the vibe of it, it just really, it just feels good. Like I was playing it over and over and over at work. And I'm just happy that BTS is back. You know what I'm saying? They're back to releasing. I did see the trailer that came out first. I did a reaction video to it, but I never edited it. So I don't know if you guys still want to see that. I will edit and upload it, but I felt like, oh, it's too late. People probably not even going to care about it. But if you guys still want me to upload that, just let me know in the comment section and I will definitely put it up. So comment below and let me know what you guys think about the video, what you think about the song, like what was your thought process when you first heard the song and when you first seen the video. Which version of the song do you like better? The video version or do you like the... I know there's a lot of questions that I'm asking y'all to comment down on. I'm sorry, but... Which version do you guys like better? The video version or do you like the the streaming service version? Like, which one? Let me know. Like, So, y'all let me know in the comment section. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.